What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mining of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. <clears throat> we're doing an Isaac run today. Last run, we did an Eden when I think I was supposed to do an Isaac run. Hey, we started with a speed up. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice because we had Eden's blessing on the last run. We've had a string of good runs, man, and I'm happy because we were in such a bad slump for a long time. And it's nice because <clears throat> it feels like the more I play, the more in the groove I get. And ever since we moved away from randoming, man, it just feels like the confidence has slipped back in. And uh, I'm backloading uh, these episodes, so it should be Monday for you guys. And this should be the day that me and Kate are actually going to get to New Jersey and finish our road trip across the country. So that's good. Uh, hopefully <laughs> everything went according to plan. We should be, you know, in New Jersey or on our way back to New Jersey. Uh, probably from Pittsburgh or something. Uh, but yeah, hope you're all having a good Monday. Is people, like, people, are you out of school yet or what? People graduating, finals over, is summer officially started? It's so crazy how much you lose track of like, maybe, yeah, I even go as far as saying seasons when it comes to like not being in school anymore. I mean, I haven't been in school for a long time, but I'm just saying, man, it's like, you, you know, when you're in school, you know exactly when summer starts. You know, like, the day summer starts or, like, when your break starts. But when you're out of school, man, I'd be lucky if I got the right week. I'm just noticing the whites in this in these guys' eyes change as they change direction. Or is it just it has nothing to do with direction? Or are they just looking around? I've never noticed the whites in their eyes move, though. Uh, worst damage of all time. 100% worst damage of all time. All right. <clears throat> well, we got blasted out of that room. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, okay, a battery is good. I obviously didn't want to re-roll the Halo. I think I don't even think there needs to really be an explanation for why I don't want to re-roll the Halo. The all stats up is good enough for me, and Duke of Flies stood no chance. I feel like we're seeing a ton of Duke of Flies. No, thank you. I'll re-roll that again. And I'm happy I did. Okay, that was solid. That was very solid. Damage up. Early pentagram, which is probably going to influence our deals with the devil, I would think, a little bit. It is an evil up. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Deal with the devil. Precedent up. <clears throat> but I would also... I know I say this like every other episode. I would like to get angel deals. And I know if I take a devil deal, I'm not going to get an angel deal. Unless I play the sacrifice room, which I normally don't think about doing or have enough hearts or red hearts around to do uh so i don't know if that's gonna happen but i would like to get angel deals so if this deal with the devil isn't amazing uh or if it's like mom's knife brimstone i will not take it uh and we will push for deals with the angel that is if we hold on to this deal precedent because as you can see we have no soul hearts or black hearts of protection so we got to be really careful it's been a while since i've seen this room <clears throat> All right, we just got to be careful of the champion over there that is like lining up ready trying to hit us We can bend these tears a little bit bend them back down there. No nothing The thing is this guy might explode into tears. We just got to be careful that he also might drop a soul heart I doubt it. I don't think he's the right shade of blue yeah, He just exploded into tears. No soul heart to be found We could check out the shop early and maybe bomb the donation machine and, and score herself a soul heart if we so desire. This guy's going to blow up, so just be careful of that. There it is. And we actually got a bomb out of it. I'm okay with this. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we have three keys, so let's try to push. Uh, well, we kind of want to push for champion's belt now. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that much money. Hopefully, we get some luck out of this secret room. Um, okay, we just got a couple keys, but we're at seven cents. <clears throat> we should probably shoot these fires. Sorry about my throat. <clears> throat. It is like ripped today. I don't know why. Holy hell. Please, throat. Just relax. Just relax. I need to drink more tea, man. Too much coffee, not enough tea. Uh, the, the pink flies get... Oh, wow. That was almost really bad. We almost took a hit there. While there was a tinted rock right here, that wouldn't have not been good. Okay, that is a roundabout way to get a soul heart, but to get a soul heart is what we did. 
We don't have a bomb to access this Tinted Rock, but we did get a Soul Heart, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. We're at 8 cents. We're closing in on 15 cents, slowly but surely. We're going to need a bomb to be able to access that golden chest. We have yet to get our item room. Again, more, more bombs needed to kind of access the money down here. And we did get a bomb, but I think... No, you know what? I'm going to access this. That might be a bit of a swerve, but I would like to get Champion's Bell. And now we're five cents away. Do we have a donation machine here? We do. Let's just wait a minute. Let's just wait a minute on, you know, the decision we make because a better decision might lie ahead. Uh, another Tin and Rock is tempting, but honestly, Champion's Bell would be better than... Oh... The vacuum bombs. Well, this sucks. These, this is part of more bombs. One of the mods that is in the Wolves at My Door collection. I'm happy to have it. And that made us get six bombs because I guess it gives you five inherently, which I'm excited about. We got a bomb back for that. And then we're going to be able to access the other tinted rock and also access, if we so desire, this chest here. What? That was sick. Lose half a soul heart for get get our bomb back and then get an extra cent on top of that. It's gonna be not necessarily close considering we can always that's so sick. Uh yeah, we'll do it. Two more cents. You know, at 13 cents right now, we can actually use a bomb here to get one more penny and a bomb there. That's like if we don't want to touch our donation machine at all, which Oh shit. Oh, we actually got two cents out of that. That's perfect. All right, let's go buy Champion's Belt, and then we'll go into the boss fight, knowing we have a reroll, and not only knowing we have a reroll, also knowing that there's another battery outside the boss fight in case we need it. But I want to go in there with a reroll, considering we should be able to get... Oh, God, it sucks their tears. We should be able to get a uh, deal with the devil here, and then we'll have a reroll for that. And then if we want to use it on the deal with the devil, we'll always have another reroll for the boss item here. Whatever Montro feels like dropping us today... HP up. Okay, I said I wasn't going to take a deal with the devil unless it was really good. And I think Death Touch is in that really good area. Plus, Goat Head is really good as well. Um, a speed up. Not necessarily super exciting. I'm totally fine with me. Totally fine with me right there. I think that was a win across the board. We actually rolled out of a, just a single heart HP up and then ended up with a super bandage. And this is an XL. Let's keep that in mind for our rerolls and our D6 plays. It's good to know when you have an XL floor. Would love to find an early item room so we can get the most out of the rerolls. We're probably going to get another deal with the devil as well at the end of this XL floor. One makes you small. That felt like an I'm excited shot, did it not? Those tears came out so hot. Just calculate it. Calculate it. Simple geometry, man. Simple geometry. We actually found a boss fight early, which is totally fine with me. We're actually going to be able to pop in there. Battery? Ooh, even better. We're going to be able to pop in here and get a charge from the stain fight. Wow, that was so dumb. Come on, red poop. Hit him. I mean, death touch, man. You definitely need other things on top of death touch. It's not the be-all, end-all. I love the tear effect it gives. And I love that it pierces and all. But damage-wise and stuff, you still need to help it along. And tear rate-wise. Um, yeah, a little bit bummed about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is just void it. We actually got one damage out of that, which is good. And we can also take the strength card into the next boss fight, because I still think we're going to get a deal with the devil there. So maybe we could swindle something if there's a juicy deal with the devil. That's a big if. I mean, it has to be a really juicy deal with the devil for us to be able to swindle the strength card this early. We could always hang on to it for future deals with the devil, though. Sacrifice room. Not super interested. <clears throat> you can make the argument that if we do get a charge 
Uh, <laughs> if we get a charge naturally before we see any item rooms, we can just go back to the second boss fight. Not thrilled about that damage. Damn, batteries galore. Batteries galore. Uh, all right. So we're just gonna get this charge, and then I'm gonna run back to the boss fight, the second one. And we're gonna see if we can swindle a deal with the devil. And then we can come back, try to get another natural recharge on the D6, and also have the two batteries to boot in case we can't get the recharge naturally, or if we just want that many rerolls. It's gonna be Gertie here. This is a normal Gertie, not the one that spawns. Okay. We know his patterns. We fought him many a times. I'm just so used to the one that spawns, man. We, I feel like I run into that guy as often as I run into the uh, champion Ragman. All right, let's see what we get here. Another range up. Uh, well, <clears throat> already a success. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that would have been the trifecta, would it not? That would have been the freaking trifecta, man. We'll use it once. Put it down. Reroll it. Necronomicon. Pick it up for the bookworm transformation. And, uh, yeah, I think that was a success. We're going to reroll that range up for sure. We have enough batteries around to do it right off the bat, which is what we're going to do and try to get something takeable. This has been a very, very successful run. Uh... But we could definitely hold on to the strength card for the future because we have goat heads. So we are guaranteed deals with the devil, especially with all this precedent we've built up. Again, we could do the same thing because I don't think box of stuff is good enough. Let's grab this with a little recharge. But yeah, man, completed the backlog. I'm psyched. I'm psyched that I have an episode for every day that I'm away. Uh, granted, this is going to push us to Monday. This is going to push us to Monday, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get set up and record an episode in time for Tuesday. Uh, but we'll have to see when the time comes, you know? Oops. Okay, we still have yet to get either of our item rooms, which is kind of crazy. We've already had so much success on this floor. That is such a good chest as well. <clears throat> Get the guy that blows up. Okay, it didn't kill the other guy. Interesting. He was right next to him, but did not hurt him. Midas Touch is good, man. It's just... Is it good enough to take when we know we have a reroll? Oh, I'm glad that we could see what else our options are. Man, this room is usually such an annoyance, and we just tore right through it easily. Uh, lead Pencil is takeable. For sure. I like lead pencil. And with that knowledge, I think I'm going to reroll Midas Touch. And we get little chat, unfortunately. I think there's going to be enough rooms to get another recharge. That's if we fight in most of them, which I think we will. Or we just get a battery. That's going to give us a coin. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh, that was close. Wait, does lead pencil shoot Death's Touch? <gasps> oh, what a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing. I didn't know if Lead Pencil had its default red tears, you know, to kind of symbolize blood. But no, it uses your tears, which is sick. Even better than I thought. I mean, it's to fight another room, you know? Why not? It's worth it. <clears throat> worth it just to get the charge, at least. And there's the charge. Another one makes you small pill. Don't mind if I do. We'll run all the way back up. Have we even seen the shop door yet? No, I don't think we have. All right, we do have 16 cents, so we probably want to do something with that. Um, also, you know, there could be a battery in the shop because that's also not a good reroll. Speaking of the shop, okay, we got refresh, which I'm definitely going to buy. Um, all right. 
Yeah, that's that. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get another reroll. I really, really, really doubt it. I mean, we could take Nod Leaf. You know, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. We had such a good floor that it really doesn't even matter. Maybe a battery in here? Probably just pills. Pills indeed. Okay, we are very small. <laughs> very small. Look at this shit. This rare ass room. Uh. I mean, thanks. It's gonna give us more bombs. We could try to get this guy to pay out. Dude, you just never see these guys. Seriously? Oh, he dropped no bombs? Stingy, but it tears up. I'll take that all day. All right, that was interesting. I mean, we burned so many bombs, but it was it was a, you know, rare room. You gotta, you gotta take your uh, chances there. So close. We are so small and so fast right now. Uh, let's just take an odd leaf because why not? Where is it? There it is. It's trying to be apprehensive uh, entering each room. I don't think that's the right application for apprehensive, but we're going to roll with it, you know? Oh, I guess since we had goat head, we could have re That was kind of dumb. We were re-rolling the item room, and I could have been re-rolling the deal with the devil room. Whoops. Sorry, bit of a misplay, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think we're going to walk away with this W anyway. We are so stacked already. Money's important. We got something like refresh. We'd like to maybe take advantage of the shop if possible. Do, 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 do. Could have maybe swindled a... Uh, ooh. Can't even hit him, huh? Nope. Um, yeah, we could have taken advantage of that deal with the devil and maybe swindled ourselves a little bit of a guppy there in that same deal with the devil, but I kind of lapse in judgment there, you know, thinking of Necronomicon and uh, the amount of rerolls that we had that we could have just kept popping back in there with Goathead, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll check out the secret room because we're one item away from Guppy. Unfortunately, it's the bad version of this room. Sometimes that room has three black hearts in the middle. That time it didn't. Guppy's tail's showing us a ton of chests. There it is. Item room. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is considered a book because it's a manual. We will re-roll it, though, and uh, we get Little Chubby. I, mean, I don't love Little Chubby, but we're going to take him because, one, Curse of the Lost. I don't want to navigate all the way back through there to re-roll it. Two, we're going to have another deal with the Devil, so we definitely want to charge for our boss fight. And we've already gone through, actually, a shocking amount of rooms in this. And we actually got a bomb. Ooh. The suck. Nice little luck up there. We got hands coming down. Honestly, it's probably not a bad idea to just let him take us out of here. That's pure laziness, though. Zombro is not a problem with penetrative tears. Mode right through them. All right. <clears throat> this should be the way to new rooms. Just kidding. It's a dead end. Curse the loss. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, bud. Oh, Jesus H. Please. We might not even get a charge for the boss fight. Have I even seen the shop, though? I feel like I haven't. This is the way to the damn item room. Did I not go down here? I don't think I went down. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we should be able to get a charge. Easy peasy. All right. We're getting some dumb damage here. We don't want to do this. We're just so small and fast, it's hard to keep track of where our bo actual body is. Alright, shop. Jumper cables. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a yes from me, dog. Look at the items! Alright, bought that. And uh, we'll go down here. That is a lot of batteries. 
A bloat fight. Melted, dude. Melted. Lead pencil helped out a lot there. Torn photo is just going to get taken. Honestly, I could go hard here and maybe try to get a guppy item. I love lump of coal. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. I always forget that's a deal with the devil item. F you, dark bum. Piece of garbage. I want Guppy, but this is going to give us like one more heart and a little bit of damage and uh, max our speed out. So I'm just going to take it. And there is a battery here, which... I mean, probably not necessary to get the one cent from the donation machine. What was that? Oh, we have refresh. I was like, what? Uh, all right. Yeah, let's just peace out. Let's just peace out. I think that was fine. I mean, Lump of Coal was probably better, but I, I wanted to make a push for... I wanted to make a push for... Why did I even buy a battery? We have jumper cables. Yeah, I wanted to make a push for Guppy, and I thought that would have been a good time to do so. We could have re-rolled the pact one more time, but I didn't want to get, like, stuck with, like, Book of Sin or something, you know? Even though it would have been a book. And I don't know if it would have been the book or transformation. Not quite yet. Maybe one more book. It, I don't know. It depends if manuals are freaking books or not. Use the key. Got a key back. Got another key. All right. We'll take sulfuric acid. I mean, it is a bit of a damage up, so sure. Oh, it's shooting through the rocks. Like, what is happening? Justice. Justice. <laughs> Still holding on to the strength card for... To kind of get a deal with the devil. But I don't know if it's going to work. <clears throat> Another strength card? Or no, no. I think I just picked up my old one. I mean, I kind of want... Sack of sacks, not super necessary, but it would be kind of nice. All right, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, box of friends in there doesn't interest me that much. I think the D6 is what we're going to stick with. Oh! <laughs> what? Sulfuric acid shot a tinted rock, and there appeared small rock. Okay, all right. That's amazing. Pin. No match for us. No match for us, Pin. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I didn't even know how to react to that. Uh, this is the exact room that we needed. Perfect. I love the little jumper cables in your head. It's so sick. Okay. Um, that's straight up flight, so we're gonna take it. And we'll just go fight the boss, which is mom, and I'm totally fine with it because we already went to the shop, we already went to the item room and see what the deal with the devil is. Hopefully it is at least a pedestal. Okay. Um Interesting. Oh, there's Guppy, boys! Let's go. Okay, so we got Guppy. There's Mega Blast and Judas's Shadow. Both really good, but am I interested in any of them? Well, what I'll do... I don't know if this is going to do anything, but we can try it. Is do... Hmm... I don't think that did anything. I have to swindle it differently. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna pick Mega Blast. I, I'm not really a huge fan. Satanic Bible. That is gonna be Bookworm. Okay. Um. I mean, do we take it just because we don't want Red Hearts? But we're gonna have two on the next floor anyway. All right. I guess yeah, that's fine. We'll go. I don't think we got. I don't think Strength did anything for us. Okay. So yeah, it it didn't do anything for us we only have one heart when i thought we were gonna have two but it's not it really doesn't matter 
Uh, this is a W. We have Death's Touch. We have Bookworm. We have Guppy. It's a complete win. There's probably nothing I could do to throw this at this point, I don't think. I mean, again, famous last words probably, but I think we're going to be okay. Even, even stupid things like that, they can happen. There's going to be so many sacks. And we're going to get so many charges because of jumper cables and the amount of batteries that are going to come out of sacks. I mean, the main thing I would like right now is any sort of mapping because that's really going to be our only downfall for getting to the end as fast as we can. I mean, Guppy's Tail and S Sack of Sacks is going to be uh, a big slowing factor if we stop for every chest and every sack, which I don't think we're gonna. Like right there, you know, eventually you got to start passing sacks, even though there could be fun things like Yara runes in them. They get a Hogalaz. You know what? I was going to say, if there's a Yara rune in this, I'd be a damn genius. Sorry, Mama Gertie. Not, today's not your day. We'll take Magic Speedball. Play with the Ace of Hearts. <laughs> what do you do here? Just take it. Maybe just take it. Happy we rerolled it. Very happy we rerolled it. Okay, got Horror Babylon and then instantly activated it by giving away our red heart for Horror Babylon. That was a pretty damn lucky play right there. Hey, rune bag. Come on, let's get a Yara. Let's get a Yara. What do you say, bud? What do you say there, bud? All right, let's go in here. Check the challenge room. We'll just do this. I mean, we got a lot of keys back, so I don't feel so bad about it. I mean, our flies and us are just melting everything. Uh, if we get a Yarrow Rune, we won't have to worry about keys. Okay, we can open up all the Guppy's chests that we want. That's actually going to be really awesome for the chest because... Guppy's chest shows you a lot of chests in the chest, which turn into items. And the fact of the matter is we're going to be able to open all of them because we have paperclip, which is sick. I know I could use sulfuric acid to shoot it, but might as well drop a bomb. We don't really need the bombs that we have, and why not? Uh, we did get hit on this room. Algas. Key. Batteries. I don't think there's a pedestal around that we could re-roll. I don't think so, no. I would have I picked up on it. Don't doubt my brain. I mean, you can doubt it all you want. All right, some more money, which is kind of completely useless, but it's also free to open these chests, so what does it even matter? Um, the sun card. We probably just saved the sun card for the cathedral. But, oops, didn't mean to go in here. We're here now. Let's grab this battery and uh, re-roll this again. $3 bill's fine. You know, I don't love it, but it's worked out for us in the past, so we might as well take it. Blank rune. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I mean, there's no way of actually knowing. I guess I could have done it, but I, I think with Rune Bag, we have a good chance of, you know, just getting it anyway, so. Missed that bomb. Yeah, I mean, I like $3 bill. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, uh, as well as fruitcake. I like fruitcake and, and $3 bill. Two sun cards? A lot of sun cards. We already used a sun card on this floor. Yara, where are you at? Where are you at, Yara? I mean, ideally, I would like to see it on the next floor, but I won't get too picky. The sun is better because it damages the room, even though we didn't use it to damage the room. I'm making the executive decision. I believe in the Yara rune. I believe in the damn Yara rune, boys. This could be dumb. There's no reason to really take that, but 
You know what? Let's just get, let's get juiced. Let's get freaking juiced. Uh, we'll pop into our room and use the sun card. It's not going to kill all of them because they're spawning all over the place. Come on, Yara. Don't make me look like a fool by not taking the damn curved horn. I know you're out there. Oh. I mean, the world card's good enough to hold on to for at least a little bit. I, I would, you know, like to bring a Yara down to the chest, but if that doesn't happen, at least we'll get some mapping. The thing is, like, the curved horn wouldn't have done too much difference. We're still clearing rooms so fast that we have to wait for the death animation to stop. Get the secret room open with sulfuric acid. There it is. Algiz is fine. Yara? Nope. No dice. The thing is, I want to keep the... Uh, wow, we just got lucky. Well, might want to just explore for the Yara because room bag is paying out like every couple rooms. Uh, but yeah, I want to take the paper clip because we have Guppy's tail and we're going to see a lot of chests on the chest. So I still think it's a good decision. We might just straight up die, though. <laughs> Let's actually just go. Damn, lead pencil almost ended him. And, oh! Oh! I gotta, I gotta try. I gotta try. It might be, boys. It might be. Double blank rune? Both Yara? Damn. I mean, it was vision, at least. This is a little risky. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, that's real risky. <laughs> oh, shit. And then we get a red heart. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm excited. They might have just ended us. Might have just freaking ended us. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why was I standing above him? Give me a soul heart. Oh, it gave me one. Oh, Lord. Bob's brain couldn't even get there in time. I mean, we're still melting, but we're just at a dangerously low health. Like, the amount of health that, like, an accidental enemy exploding could kill you. We kind of dug ourselves a little bit out of the woods. We're not seeing half as much, as many chests as I thought we would. Dagoz is amazing. It also gets rid of the curse. Okay, this is a really small chest. Is, is it just me? Look at this. That's it? Feels super small, but we're gonna walk out of here with a W, even though a little butt clenchy there at the beginning of the chest, uh, end of the cathedral. Mm. Rip, rip game, rip frame rate, rip everything. Missed the boom? All the old purr throw, huh? The old purr throw. Intensifying tears. All right. Um, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> All right, then. Well, that was a really quick blue baby fight. Holy shit. All right, that's another W, boys. We're up to a seven win streak on the modded Isaac Eden runs with like an Apollyon thrown in there. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed this one. And check out these two videos listed down below if you haven't seen them already. Also, subscribe by hitting the W in the middle for more daily Isaac content. Thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay safe, stay up. Peace out.